videos sell cars well they certainly do for me uh videos do help me sell cars uh and i've been rambling on for many many years saying that they really genuinely do help me sell cars customers say to me your video is why i picked the phone up your video is why i'm here your video shows me everything i need to see about the car before buying it your video made it so easy for me to buy the car i could see everything from the comfort of my chair so I can't really ramble on anymore. Uh, I genuinely believe uh, they've helped me massively, not only sell more cars, but also probably get that edge uh, with other dealers. So by me being fully transparent, I show them a full close up of the car, attention to detail. They know that my car is better than some of the cars advertised on some of the platforms. So they're willing to pay more because they know there's nothing being hidden. Everything is fully transparent gives them the confidence to know that you know what it might have a high price marker here or whatever it may be on some of the classifieds but the car has is, is in outstanding condition so not only does it help me sell cars it also makes me have better profits out of it possibly uh, the cars are all described accurately customers can see exactly what they're going to get even before they leave the house so they do help me I've had a number of customers actually say to me they find it difficulty or they don't understand how to do videos it is so easy these days uh, most of mine these days are done on the iphone they really are uh, i did have a cheap camera uh, video camera which did a great job for me i don't get over technical about uh, the equipment does a job for me so these days it's so easy iphones mobile phones the quality is absolutely magnificent so you don't need to spend thousands of pounds buying the equipment i don't believe because we have everything at our fingertips it's so easy so quick if you make a mistake delete do it again so quick isn't it you know it really is genuinely so so easy so with videos we all have different ideas of what we all want there's all types of videos uh, on cars present a video where i can sort of talk to you like this and then take you around the car or just simply take you around the car well, the road test one i do various ones depending on time and the vehicle i've done many where i've actually taken the cars for a road test and given a rundown exactly how i felt about the road test of the car that a full walk around and present it to you when there's time and something special i'll go that extra mile but the nature of this job always busy and it's difficult to do all those but every single car on my website has a full walk around video just subject to the weather sometimes but full walk around video many dealers say to me i don't have time to do videos guess what a three minute video takes three minutes absolutely most of mine are not edited they are simply just recorded uploaded to youtube job done simple easy quick as that really so a three minute video takes three minutes it takes longer to do stills than it does do a video and you can go all the way around and also believe with the video you really got to just show the customers what they want to see so if the car's got a satellite navigation highlight it parking sensors highlight it sports steering wheel whatever it's got special other upholstery whatever it's got you need to highlight it show the customers exactly the benefits of what it is show them the wheels show them the tires whatever it is you've got to make it so that they understand what they're going to get even before they leave the home so that makes it so easy so quick for them just to make a decision sitting at home of how good the car is with so many thousands of cars on the platforms you've got to make sure you stand out so by doing a full walk around video it shows them exactly what's on offer it's very easy it's very quick it's very simple straightforward as that really so do a full walk around video it is absolutely invaluable it really is i urge every dealer out there to take some time have a look at the videos pick up your own tips the biggest hang up that we all have and this is what a lot of dealers are going to say to me is i don't like my voice i don't want people to hear me guess what the customers can hear your voice the customers see you when they come into the showroom what's the difference one of my biggest hang-ups when i first started doing videos was like everybody else didn't like my voice i've got a strong stoke accent so people tell me 
We all have accents. We all have mannerisms. We're all unique in that way, aren't we? So, does it really matter? So I've got a Stoke accent. People say to me, oh, you're from the Potteries. I am proud to be from the Potteries. So, initially, I kept thinking, no, oh, people don't want to hear my voice. And I go, this, that, whatever. So, I even thought about text-to-voice. I looked at so many different programs, but also robotic. Didn't sound right. Spoke to a couple of voiceover guys, and they said, yeah, and yeah, happy to do that for you. You write the script, send us the raw file, and we'll do a voiceover. But again, it's the hassle and the cost, the additional cost involved with that. And one morning, I literally thought, do you know what? Just get out there, do a video, do a voiceover video. Of course, I made some mistakes. Quite got a few outtakes from these, as I'm going to put them all together. Uh, make a mistake, delete, you start again. Two seconds, you start again. Just do it. So, after a few, you get into the routine of it, and it makes it so easy. One thing which I don't think uh, is, is don't script it. So, don't write it down what you want to say. Just look at the car, you think, right, it's got satellite navigation, it's got parking sensors, it's got Bluetooth. Build in your memory, walk around, and just talk about it. Just talk naturally. Don't try to make it too uh, too sleazy, you know. Um, talk about the condition, talk about the ownership, talk about the service history. All these things is what the customers want to hear. Simple as that. One thing which I don't particularly like, but some of you may do it, that's fine, that's your choice, is what I call silent movies. I really genuinely do not see much point in walking around the car with a camera, nothing said. You know, I think you need to talk about it. And the other one that I don't particularly like either is just music. You've got to be careful what music you choose. <clears throat> I saw a BMW X5 the other day on somebody's website, and there's a lot of rap music going on. Nothing wrong with rap music if that's what you like, but you've got to think of the audience. Who's going to buy that car? You know, we can't appeal to everybody that music. There's no voiceover on it. It was just purely just rap music over it. That's their choice. We all, we're all different, aren't we? You know, sometimes I'll do a full, full road test video of something a little bit special. I'll take the time out and take it for a drive and do a running commentary of how I feel about the car. I'll present it and then I'll do a full walk around. It's not always easy to do those because they take some time, they take some editing. But normal videos take about three, four minutes. That's all it is, literally three or four minutes upload to YouTube, bang, you're away, you, you've got a video. So when dealers say to me, I don't have time to do a video, a three minute video takes three minutes. Forget that extra cup of tea. Three minutes, do a video, it'll help you sell cars, it'll make more money for you. Believe me, I've been doing it long enough now to do that. So I hope uh, that helps you. Any tips, advice, please give me a shout. I'm not an expert by any means. I don't claim to be an expert on videos or marketing, but all I can do is share with you what videos do for me and my business. Catch you soon. Have a great day.